Morning everybody, how are y'all doing today? I'm doing fantastic personally because, you know, Griffin being an absolute idiot and now tripling down on his original god-awful take is creating some great content for me. And yes, you heard me right, he has now tripled down on his original take when it comes to poor people, you know, buying expensive GPUs and stuff. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then go watch my last video I uploaded on this, it explains the entire thing. But basically, tiny summary here. He said people shouldn't have a problem with NVIDIA charging $1,600 for the 4090. And if you complain about them raising the prices, then you're a broke piece of garbage. You know, substitute garbage for another word. But I, I can't say that because I'm PG. But yeah, I just wanted to go over this stream clip from, I think it was yesterday at the time of recording this video. I think when this goes public, it'll be like two days ago. But before we do, I do just want to mention we've got more content on this coming in the future because I did find a Griffin fanboy to defending him and so my next video will likely be going over that and then we got more salty fanboys afterwards but yeah with that said let's go ahead and get into this god awful clip of him tripling down on his original take let's go pg wavy with the two for tang has been tweeting about you all day bro for months that dude has been in my dms begging me to like collab or come on stream with them or play games with them you know it's just i don't know i don't fucking care at the end of the day but it's just very convenient there ain't no love in these YouTube streets, man. That's all I can tell you. What does that even mean, there's no love in these YouTube streets? Like, I get he's making a joke, but the joke doesn't even make sense. Fratanga is showing you nothing but love by what you're describing, you know? He's asking to collab with you. He's asking to go on stream with you. He wants to, you know, hang out with you and make content with you. How is that a bad thing? Also, this doesn't necessarily prove it 100%, but Fratanga actually responded to this tweet with this screenshot showing he has only ever asked Griffin to collab once, and it was over the Quantum TV drama. This screenshot does not prove anything, I will say, but if Griffin wants to to prove that Fertanga has been messaging him for months, then he can provide screenshot proof. But as of now, there's no proof against Fertanga besides Griffin's just, you know, worthless words. But even if he was messaging you, how is it a bad thing that he wants to make content with you? Anytime I'm offered to, like, come on stream with someone or, like, you know, anytime I offer to, like, you know, have someone in the video, it feels good. Don't try to paint for Tanga as the bad guy here because he simply wants to collab with you. Unless he's like threatening you or something, I really don't see a problem with it. And that's the reason why I've never bothered to make friends with YouTubers because nobody fucking cares about each other. Like, yeah, dude, when I was playing the fucking Halo campaign, this dude sending me in or fucking Discord DMs asking me to play co op with him. Jesus Christ, this truly is the fall of Griffin. He just described how Fratanga has been, you know, supposedly spam messaging him, you know, asking to create content with him, go on live streams, play video games with him, and then uses that point to prove that Fratanga doesn't care and that no YouTuber cares about each other? Listen, Griffin, just because you don't care about other people doesn't mean other people don't. If Fratanga didn't care about you, why would he be offering so much? This is the kind of backwards logic that Griffin usually makes fun of fanboys for. So, it's just... It's very ironic. They wait for the, like, first opportunity. And then they're like, oh my god, let's do this. You know, this clip is obviously taken out of context, and he wasn't talking about normal people who don't want to buy a 4090. Let's ignore the fact that literally for fucking 15 minutes beforehand, I was literally ranting about the fucking dumbasses who were upset that I bought a 3090 and said I was ruining PC gaming, and those were the people I was calling a broke begging bitch. But no, you know, we'll run with the narrative that basically anyone who doesn't buy a 4090 is poor, right? You know what, just for Griffin, let's go ahead and run that clip back again, just to see if what he is saying does hold any value. Because I think people actually did get one thing wrong when calling him out. But let's go ahead and see the clip again. I just like, I don't know, man. I don't need to hear the perspective of a bunch of brokies who can't even fucking buy it anyway. Like, fuck off. Like, I had people going like, You're encouraging NVIDIA to constantly raise the price. Good, I fucking hope they double it next year, you sick piece of shit. I don't know, man. I just fucking hate people like that. So much. 
So, sorry, Griffin, you're absolutely right. My bad, let's just forget this whole controversy ever happened. You weren't calling people broke for not buying the 4090, you were calling them broke for not buying the 3090. And for being upset because, you know, I explained this yesterday, your purchase negatively impacts them because it encourages NVIDIA to raise the prices. In fact, I ran a poll on it yesterday because this whole idea of like, oh, should other people care how you spend your money? That, that thing, I've always like debated how I felt on that, but I think yesterday I finally determined how I feel and what my take is. And my take is basically people shouldn't care how someone else spends their money unless someone else spending their money in a certain way negatively affects those people. And Griffin, guess what? In this case, you constantly just consuming product and buying what ever companies put out, that's negatively affecting everyone else who can't necessarily just throw away money like you can. Also, I love one of the things you always say, especially when talking about fanboys, and I remember back when you were like making fun of that Star Wars guy for crying at the trailer, the thing you kept bringing up was if you don't want people to make fun of you or smack talk you or whatever, then do not upload it publicly to the internet. If you don't want people to give you crap for and disagree with your purchases, then don't make it a public thing that, hey guys, I'm buying a 4090. And definitely don't say that it pisses you off when people complain about the prices, because that's another thing people can go after you for. Because again, another layer of hypocrisy here is you used to go after fanboys for saying, especially in the Hippozone case, that, you know, that basically Hippozone was saying, oh, it was a bad thing that people were voicing their complaints on the Epic Game Store. But Griffin, now you're doing the same thing with the 3090 and the 4090. You're saying it's a bad thing and it's annoying that people sh are, like, sharing their voices and giving their opinions on the graphics card. The hypocrisy just never ends. Because that's exactly what I said. I wasn't talking about the people that are like, Oh my god, dude, you bought a fucking 3090, you piece of shit. You're the reason why I can't afford a GPU. Like, yeah, I wasn't talking about those people. Because how many messages do people send me every night saying, Hey man, I just got my first PC with like a 3070 in it. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's fucking awesome, bro. Congratulations. Do I go, oh my god, a 3070? What are you, fucking poor? Like, how many times does that happen? That's what I mean, dude. It's just, it's so convenient. They look for any little opportunity and jump on it. Bro, I swear, the hypocrisy will never end. Your whole channel at one point was dedicated to jumping on anything fanboys said and farming ad revenue from it. I should know, I do the exact same thing right now, but at least, you know, I'm self-aware about it. And at least I don't try to call other people out for doing the same thing. Like, remember when Supernova had that really god-awful take saying, like, even if the PS5 could run Horizon Forbidden West at 120 FPS, he would still want it running at 30? And, like, in that video, he made, like, an analogy to cars in terms of like price to performance and stuff like that and in that video you nitpicked that argument or that analogy saying it wasn't good but then another layer of hypocrisy again is in later videos you would then use car analogies when it came to exclusive games you said something along the lines of like oh it you know why should car manufacturers not just buy exclusive roads instead of, you know, trying to compete to make the best car possible. The hypocrisy will never, ever stop. Oh my god. So, the thing is, I really don't fucking care. Like, you know, make your fucking video, get your ad revenue, but don't be mad when I clap back. Dude, I'm gonna sound like a broken record in a second, I'm sorry, but holy crap this hypocrisy. My man says he doesn't care, but has now tripled down on his original point. And constantly, you know, like, for someone who doesn't care, you just admitted that for 15 minutes before, like, you know, that clip was taken, you were ranting about the 3090 and people having a problem with you buying that. Also, if you didn't care, by your own words, again, more hypocrisy, because by Griffin's own words, if you didn't care about it, you wouldn't be bringing it up and you wouldn't be talking about it. And even more <laughs> hypocrisy is he saying, oh yeah, you know, make your video video, but don't be surprised when I clap back. This entire thing has you been complaining that you put out your opinion and like your purchasing decisions and stuff, and then people gave you backlash for it. Griffin, you really need to 
keep that same energy. But really quick before we end off this video, I just wanted to show something that somebody in the Twitter replies actually pointed out that I wanted to look at real quick. Because remember how Griffin was saying that, you know, 1500 bucks is not a lot of money. It's not life changing or anything. Well, look at this screenshot right here. 61% or 203 million Americans are living paycheck to paycheck up 55% from a year ago. 33.5 million Americans spent more than they earned in the past six months. To say that $1,500 is not a lot of money is just pure ignorance. Maybe not to you, because you know, you love to crutch off of daddy and mommy's money so much. But to quite literally hundreds of millions of just Americans alone, not even including other countries, $1,500, maybe not life-changing, but it is definitely a lot of money to them. And by the way, I'd also like to address that Griffin said in the clip that it's, as, it's not as much as a car, so people shouldn't be complaining about it. Yes, it is, dude. You can get a used car for 1500 bucks. Again, the disconnection from reality is absolutely insane. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. It's almost one o'clock at the time of recording this so I gotta get ready to get the Modern Warfare 2 beta going hopefully I enjoy it and it might be background gameplay for my next video who knows but yeah anyway guys thank you so much for watching like the video if you liked it dislike it if you didn't like it subscribe if you want to see more and I will catch you all next time